All right, new this morning. In today's world, there's no shortage of podcasts. You can find one that covers just about any topic you're looking for, but a group of students at Rolling Green Elementary School in Urbandale, they've learned through their own special podcasts how important their past is to their future. And this is a learning opportunity for listeners and also themselves. <laughs> The library was made in 1990. Give a group of fifth graders a project. It's fun with, to learn with them. And it can go this way. And or that way. It's kind of stressful sometimes. But either way, these EL students at Rolling Green Elementary in Urbandale, they put in the work for their Urbandale Memory Masters podcast, a project launched this school year. My students are all working on their English skills. We have four language domains of reading, writing, listening, and speaking. I wanted a project that they could encompass all of those that was a little more authentic and more fun than, than maybe what they would just be doing in a regular classroom. Laura Beth Vanderplug's the teacher who thought of this project and what the podcast focuses on. This is our last year in this building. And so we've been wanting to do some things to commemorate the history of Rolling Green and um, so we thought we'd use the podcast to kind of platform those stories before we move on to a new school. The rest, it's all up to the kids, the topics for the episodes, the research, the interviews. We interview all the teachers about um, people that retired from this school. What did you learn from interviewing them? Uh, like you can like practice in talking on one one on one. And like a conversation. Did you enjoy about it? I enjoyed about it because Miss Chisholm told me about her life. <laughs> Urbandale Memory Masters has become such a hit, the Urbandale Schools and Alumni Foundation awarded Laura and her students the Making a Difference grant for the class to buy podcast equipment. My job is definitely like teach them academics, but it's also that pride in themselves that um, you know, we can say that they're, learn they're English learners or we can say that they are bilingual or multilingual. You know, there's a difference even in that. Just showing them that they can be leaders in our school, that they can bring new things and like really be game changers within their community. By bringing the past to a new age medium, these students are educating themselves and their listeners. I think it will be funny for them when they're in high school, they can go back and listen to to themselves as fifth graders, which is just kind of a fun thing and uh, maybe a scary thing. I just think the autonomy piece is so powerful um, that they um, will see that they made a difference and they had an impact and people listened to them and, and they had something important to say. Important, even when the cameras stop rolling. You have 27 percent back. In Urbandale, Chinu Hurt, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. All right, so that podcast is on Spotify. It's easy. Just search Urbandale Memory Masters. There's also a link on the district's website, so we'll have all of those links on our story on our homepage at weareiowa.com, and that should be up a little later this morning, so you can all head there, click on those links, and have a listen to the podcast. It's fun. These kids are so bright. They're courageous for practicing these skills in such a public forum. I love to see that they're really maintaining yeah. their language spoken at home yeah. and then also becoming bicultural, bilingual. It's the world, yeah. that how, the, the way the yeah. world is changing right now, the leaders of our future. Yeah, absolutely. And pretty incredible that they are using the podcast as, you know, that's that's different. You don't hear about yeah. that a lot to kind of commemorate the history of their school yeah. and what you know, new changes are ahead. Mm -hmm. So I always love when you feature the students yeah. in, in specifically ELL classes, but uh, props to you, props to yeah. Urbandale ELL students.